Animal Crossing music goes from this to this to this, then back to this, and then. In its 21 years of life, the Animal Crossing series has had many different faces, but one thing has never changed, and that is the spectacular soundtrack. This music comes with lots of feelings, but all of it is so good at what it does, and we're no stranger to that on this channel. Recently, I found myself missing those list-based, music-opinionated videos I did for a while, and so today I wanted to actually go through each Animal Crossing game, even the ones that don't matter, and tell you my favorite song from each, because it's not always an hourly or KK slider track. So let's go through the five main games, the two spin-offs, the app and even the DLC, this is the best song from every Animal Crossing game. In the brave position of going first, Animal Crossing GameCube is odd enough as it is, but have you ever thought about that from a music perspective? Totaka and the sound team had to create songs for all of this. I'm sure that was very hard for them. So what did they do? Well, of course they made it sound weird, out of place, and also maybe plagiarized a little bit. But that's Animal Crossing. It's unconventional and far-fetched. Just because it's something you're not used to doesn't mean it's bad. No, no, that's like the whole point of the game. Sometimes you just have to experience things you've never experienced before. Even if it doesn't make sense, take a leap of faith and maybe it will. Like, say, working for a raccoon? Easy pick for this game, I can think of no greater musical symbolism that is moving into a forest to live life with a bunch of pissed off talking animals than working for Tom Nook. This needs to be one of the first songs that plays because it completely captures the spirit of the game, it's just freaking weird, but fun. It plays for about an hour during a segment at the beginning of the game where you work for Tom Nook, but these chores quickly blur the line between labor and fun, tutorial and social introduction. And for that, it stands as a memorable eye-opening track as this was the moment we realized what we'd be in for for the next two decades, a dead-end job. By the time we get to Wild World, we have some newcomers that are going to be around in the series for a bit. A few of my favorites that got their start here are Grits in the new iteration of the Able Sisters, one of the more famous ones being the Roost. The theme of Shampoodles, the only theme it ever had, also a banger to go with the debut of Hairstyles. But easily the most important debut of Wild World, you guessed it, me. This was my first Animal Crossing game, I was 9, up to this point video games had just been fun little time wasters for me, but this game put me up to a different approach. Maybe games didn't have to just be a journey to the credits, but about discovery. Don't just play, but feel the game, take your time with it, I can't say that, I time travel. Something about 3AM, guys. Yes, reprising its role from the hourly rankings video, but golly, it's just so magnificent and wonderful. In the real world, 3AM does not sound this filled with happiness, no. 3AM is either a time of pure silence or regretful Taco Bell, but the glimmering melody sounds of gratitude and sentiment and just love, nothing but love and being so thankful for why you are where you are at 3AM, even if it's just playing a DS game under your bed sheets alone. God tier track, Totaka, how did we fall from this 3am to New Horizons upset stomach 3am, hmm? Must have been that Taco Bell. As most know, City Folk shares a nearly identical makeup with Wild World, and that's true for the music too, but they are no longer locked to these tiny speakers and 16 sound channels. We got big booming city noises on a TV. 3AM does indeed sound better without the limitations of the DS, and this is of course the version I prefer, but I wanted to choose something different and exclusive since by the time City Folk came out, I'd been listening to Wild World for two years already. And what I chose, what I believe really brings the City Folk spirit to the spotlight is... Actually, I was kind of torn between two songs. KK House came out this game, and that is like all I played in my house, so credit to that. But we know the big thing here is the city, and I think it's most endearing in the evening. Just the sun gently setting on the streets while everyone goes about their very programmed walking in a circle. It's a melancholy we always have with us as the day draws to a close, and as a kid who had to go to school playing this game, it was rare to make it here any time before. Now we all know that the city wasn't as utilized as it could have been, but the variety of themes greatly characterized this place. The other one I'd bring up is the snow theme because it really does invigorate some intense winter slash Christmas nostalgia, like it almost makes me wanna... No, 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 Voyan, stop, what are you doing? Alright, look, just... 
There it is, okay? There was no avoiding this. It always has been. It always will be. I love 5 p.m. so much for what it does to your soul. <coughs> Boss of bias. And I also love KK Disco, which debuted this game. I feel like I've already talked enough about these in other videos, and New Leaf has a lot of music, so I will take this time to highlight some of those runner-ups. What I call the inside of a building themes really go hard this game. That's retail, that's kicks, that's the town hall, that's the new version of the roost and its employment music. Drive-In also came out this game, but as the no results KK Slider performance, one of my favorite live versions in the series. Also Main Street, I'm not totally in love with it, but the genius way of how it adds as you progress, I appreciate it enough to mention. And finally, the main theme and the town tree are like emotional scars on my soul. Not that they're sad. It's just we're so far removed, almost a decade from this time that was a way of life that I bonded with. And hearing it triggers an adolescent-like wonder that words literally cannot do justice. I think it's pretty fair to say that New Leaf has the best music and sound design in the series as a whole. Now let's talk about its spin-off, Happy Home Designer. I've put all of 90 minutes into this game, I'm not a huge decorator, at least not enough for it to be the main mechanic, voyin, toyin around with the new tools, um, but I'm quite familiar with the OST. It was kinda close, I really do think Isabelle's theme in this game is the best it's ever been, but my favorite pick, the downtown at night music. I suppose the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, if that tree is city folk. Just the outdoors on a cool dust type vibe, I'm here for it, but this one sounds a little bit more downward and collective, like, Hey, why you so down, buddy? It's okay, today may have not been the best, but there's always tomorrow. So what, you maybe wasted some money, bought a game you didn't like, well it can't be that bad, it's not- Oh, hell nah! Now, Amiibo Fest, I have played this game once. I don't really feel like I have to justify that. Let's get this over with. I almost picked the lounge music because it is very reminiscent of 2015 Wii U style music, something you would hear in like Wii Party U or even the Wii U OS, but my bossa bias gripped me and I went with the balloon minigame. It's jank. It's like Plinko, but physics don't exist correctly in this universe. And I don't even have that many amiibos anymore. But the one saving grace is this very gentle music that is half comfort and half anxiety, which I mean, yeah, you're dropping a bunch of animals in the ocean. I'm so sorry, it's gonna be a minute before things are good again. I've put a little bit into Pocket Camp. Obviously, I'm gonna have to give it more if I ever plan to complete the project that I want. We will talk about it soon, but someone tell me right now, does this music get any better? Because so far, I find it so regular and uninteresting that I actually struggle to choose anything. I guess the morning theme is okay, but it sounds a little too slow and consoling. Like, if I wake up and this is how my morning sounds, I'm going right the fuck back to sleep. Okay, finally, we're almost finished with New Horizons. For the longest time, and even now, people still believe that New Horizons soundtrack is trash. Even I at one point spread this in my videos. But then I listened to it more and more outside of playing the game. I would put it on for walks with my dog or driving, and I gradually realized the music overall isn't bad, but the music that plays the most is, namely, the hourly tracks. And there's still some good ones, but they all sound either too similar or just somewhat very perked up. Meanwhile, there's tracks that play for like five five minutes of this thousand hour game that have the composition of a notebook. I already did a whole video about this, so let's just get our choice down. 5 p.m. I really love for similar reasons to New Leaf 5 p.m. It's just that getting out of work cool jam, a more lighthearted take on the day winding down. It's really groovy, Elton John-like, the electric guitar dances in circles the entire time, but it's not my pick. I actually think New Horizons has the greatest collective New Year's theme, and I put it up here for two reasons. One, I love the jazz of Mario Kart 8, and two, the entire time you're playing New Horizons, it's a natural isolation of cultivating an island, and even when you have a full set of villagers, there's still something about this unshakable feeling of loneliness. Could be because the entire game feels like a lifeless dollhouse, but for that one night, everyone comes out and the town is dressed completely opposite. Big electric signs, fireworks, suits, glasses full of something safe for animals. The whole evening just feels totally picturesque and put together, and it's completely different of what you'd ever feel like with the mostly encouraged cottage core design of New Horizons. I just can't help but imagine if they made an entire Animal Crossing game centered around this, like, 
Wow, god damn, I really miss City Folk. Also on topic, I think this is the best iteration they've had for Festival because... Say it again, King. Boss of Bias! Last but not least, we have the recent DLC for New Horizons, Happy Home Designer. Unlike the 3DS version, I played this one a lot more because I had to, if I wanted partitions and lighting, that is. Giving more room, literally, to the Island Paradise vibes that New Horizons originally was campaigning with, these songs are very tropical and acoustic. As far as which one is my favorite, I think the visitor music is really, really good because... Because I don't know, it sounds good or something like that.